Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a while since I've just made an actual video outside of podcasting, but I wanted to make a video because I had surgery. And man, it's been a while since I've made a video on <laughs> surgery in general because I haven't had surgery in five years. So the five year streak has come to an end, but hopefully for good reason. So I got a revision on my arm graft scar from phalloplasty that I had seven years ago. Essentially, the graft just kept getting tighter and tighter as my forearm grew. So much so that it actually started making this arm bigger because it was inducing blood flow restriction training. So I always had a, a better pump in my left arm, like my bicep and tricep and everything. My forearm is actually bigger than it is on my right. So when it comes to bodybuilding, you know, symmetry is very important, so we can't go having that. So that was one big motivator to actually get something done. Uh, I've been trying to avoid it and like pushing it off, pushing it off, just thinking, uh, you know, like what if it doesn't help and I don't want to take a break right now to have surgery. But since I, I don't even know if I've talked about this yet, <laughs> I think maybe it's been a while. Um, I'm not actually competing this year. I did qualify for nationals. Uh, after my last show when I won the overall in 35 plus, but you know, talk to my coach and it's just qualifying for nationals is one thing, but actually being able to be good enough, big enough to be competitive at nationals is another thing. Of course, I would love to go just for the experience, but I'd love to go to be competitive because I'm a competitive person. So essentially pushing those plans back, the plan is to compete again in another show, maybe next year to re-qualify for nationals and you know continue putting on size so that when I can go to nationals, I will be competitive. That could be a year, it could be two years. I'm not sure. Basically, that's the, that's the joy of bodybuilding. There's always improvements to be made and uh, I don't wanna go prematurely uh, to, to nationals. So putting a hold on that, so I decided to have the arm worked on, fixed, so that I could not have such a tight, uncomfortable hand. It really started to get worse and worse and to the point where like my hand was crimping up because the blood flow was restricted. The uh, graph had a tourniquet effect on it. Even when I was lifting, it was just like bright red and it would stay swollen and puffy for a bit because like the, the blood just cannot drain out of my hand in the same way that it can um, on this hand. So I, consulted with Dr. Lin, he has done uh, a few surgeries for me previously, but it was just fat grafting and nothing that was this involved. So it's basically like a partial regraft. He released the current graft uh, by cutting around the edges and letting it, and like getting underneath it because it was adhered to the muscle and letting it contr like contract, contract, is that the right word? It, I'm not very good at explaining this. Um, <laughs> but if you can imagine how he put it, you know those uh, Pillsbury cinnamon roll cans or crescent roll cans, how they pop open like that? That's basically was my arm. So it kind of pops open, right? So it gives my forearm room to expand because it was constricted by the graft that just doesn't move. So after he let that release, he added new strips of graft. I don't know where he added them yet. Uh, at first we talked about doing it on the two sides by the, the bridge right here, but uh, he marked up a good amount. I might put up a photo here of how much he marked. So I think it was a little bit more extensive than originally thought, but my post off is tomorrow. So I haven't actually seen my arm without the splint and stuff yet. So I will keep you posted, but we'll see what he's done so far. Uh, arm reveal tomorrow at my first post op appointment. But overall, the most annoying thing with the surgery has been the leg graft. Uh, if you've had phalloplasty, you know, uh, it's you know kind of uncomfortable. It feels like road rash on your leg. Maybe I'll put a photo up here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to show it to you right now. Um, it's just kind of gnarly. I've got some zero form on it and it's just doing its job, scabbing over and, and doing the ooze thing that it does. So just wanted to update you on that and give you any information. Maybe you are looking to have the same thing done if you had phalloplasty and you have a really tight graft. Uh, I hope that this helps. It, essentially, the only next option if this doesn't help is doing a complete regraft. 
uh, but I really don't want to go down that road because that would be awful. So I will update you again with video number two once I'm able to see my arm, get a little bit more information, uh, and, and you know fill you in of how effective it is and if it makes things more comfortable in the gym, if it improves my circulation, because um, <clears throat> can't be having one arm bigger than the other and stuff like that. Recovery time, anywhere between, uh, uh, he said, <laughs> He said he started off saying like three weeks, then it turned into four weeks, and now it's you know four weeks. And uh, anyways, uh, recovery three to four weeks. I'm definitely already missing the gym. It hasn't even been a week yet. It's been about it'll be a week by the time I post this up. And uh, just trying to keep my head above water. It's really hard when you're in, an 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 anxious person, and your coping mechanism just kind of gets pulled out from under you. And this isn't my first surgery. This is my first rodeo. I have dealt with this many times before, but since the last time it was five years ago, I was just in a very different spot in life. So there's a lot more stressors, a lot more responsibility that I have going on this year, uh, you know, with with having a surgery. And it's been, it's been interesting. It's been a balancing act. And, you know, that's the one thing that like owning your own business, you don't really get time off. You don't get downtime. Um, so I just had to have surgery, I took that day off, and then I jumped right back into my business and work right after. And don't get me wrong, like I love my work and my business, but it's definitely been a struggle because the anesthesia brain fog and just the fatigue has been has been real. I'm, I'm older now. <laughs> That's another thing to throw into the equation. Yeah, I'm only five years older than I was the last surgery I had, but five years can be a can be a big gap when you're in your 30s. Like five years ago, I also didn't have as much back pain and knee pain. <laughs> so recovery isn't as great as you get older, if you didn't already know that. But anyways, I'm rambling. Did you miss me rambling? Probably not. But uh, I'll fill you in with more, especially if you're interested in the surgery yourself. And uh, I'll keep you updated on the progress of it all. And I know I should probably I do some actual vlogging videos and, and real, you know, face-to-face -face videos again. I have been doing my podcast uh, on a weekly basis, so if you are interested in that, make sure to check it out. I do, I do updates in there as well. So if you do watch my podcast, then you probably know that I had surgery. But I just want to go into more in depth of what I had done, and I will make sure to keep you updated. So if you have any questions comments, concerns, make sure to leave them in the comments and I can answer them in the next video. But uh, until then, peace out guys. I'll see you next time.